It's a silly tabby bonnet taking over blood. Alright, so one of the biggest questions that we have is we know that you went to Florida AM. You have like three degrees. Two. Two. Alright. <laughs> Two, Two degrees from Florida AM. One from Florida AM. Where's the other one from? Um George Washington University. Okay. Voila, I'm in the Sultana rap. The neighborhood. It was like my senior year. Um when I was about to graduate that it just hit me that um my heart wasn't into it. Like I didn't really want to be a doctor. You know how you do things that you you think um, determine success from where you know the way that your parents push you and the way that the world is here. You got to be a doctor or a lawyer. Um, but I loved entertainment so much. And then I was reading this book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, at the time that just changed the course of my life. It was just you know you pick a plan A. There's no plan B or C. And, and go with it. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna be an entertainer, and that was it. Man with cocaine and crack, and come around the back. It, when I just, when I started, because you know, I was born in Togo, West Africa. Mm -hmm. um, and when we officially moved here, when I started hearing hip hop, it was just like I felt like I had to be involved, and somehow I was just. You know how you're such a fan that you just feel like, wow, you got to do more than just be a fan. So I guess that evolved into actually just trying to rhyme um, from, you know, beating on the cafeteria tables and your chest, just just rhyming. That's that's how it happened, man. It just felt like I had to be a part of this. Right. Um, man, all the way back to Big Daddy Kane, MC Light, EPMD. Um, Jay Z to now, you know, Kanye, um, definitely a most deaf Andre 3000, but just that that whole gamut really, really got me. Criminals of all sorts with subliminal thoughts. Is your brain? Um, well, I'm, I'm messing with Dame Dash right now, so he's putting out my next album. Okay. Um, that'll be sometime this summer. Um, majority of the album is produced by Ski Beats, mm -hmm. you all know him from yep. Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt, Camp Low, Mary J. Blige, a lot of other people. So um, that's that's my next like project. Mm -hmm. That'll be mid-summer. I don't have a name for it yet, okay. but um should be finished within the next month. That sounds good. Is it gonna be like an LP or is it gonna be a mixtape? Album. Yeah, oh, LP. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's black. It's black. You're no match for such an idiotic catch. Um really lyrical on this one. A lot of my past stuff I haven't been, you know what I mean? People don't right. know me for like straight up lyrics Lyricism, and stuff right. like that. It's more like catching this and, mm -hmm. and hooks and stuff. So I'm more lyrical on this one. Um, and then still bring along, you know what I mean? The catchiness and stuff like that. So it's it's true hip hop, like true hip hop. Professional with some primo stats. I have a, I have a clothing line called Benet Runway. Mm -hmm. um, I started like my senior year of college okay. too, um, so so still getting the infrastructure together because every time I put it out, um, the demand is so great that I can't supply the demand. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So um, um, just got a partner on board for that. My cousin from London. So um, just just doing it the right way, and, and when we put it back out officially, it'll be out out for good. So that, and then um, you know I'm a director too. So most of the videos you all see on, you know, the MTVs and VH1, I, I directed myself, so I'm going to progress and get into um, films, so I'm going to shoot a couple of short films this year that will hopefully make it to Sunday mm -hmm. for the next year, and then, um, you know, progress from there, get it to indie film level, and then hopefully major motion picture level and after a while. Are you going to take any of your film skills and like that, maybe like a short film for your album for one of your songs yeah, or anything? Yeah, that's what, um, as soon as we... Get, I get off of this, but Dame is setting up a short film already. So, yeah, you all will definitely see that with this upcoming album. Man, I don't, um, do I have a favorite band? Um, I do actually. I have these, um, Adidas forums. I think that's what they're called, that Adidas gave me, um, that I, I perform with pretty much every night. So they kind of. Okay. Busted, getting getting a little hole in them, and usually I don't wear shoes to that 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 happens. So um, yeah, these are Adidas forms that I have, and then you know the typical stuff like dunks and all that. But I don't have a particular favorite. favorite. Out of goods, 
24k brass knuckles. When I get involved with pay dues, uh, Murs, he's, you know, that's his, his thing. He's been a fan for a while, so he just reached out to me. Um, and, you know, we're just wrapping up the Road to Pay Dues tour, which we've been on since the um, middle of February. And, um, you know, the, the big event is tomorrow, man. I'm excited to see, you know, dead prayers, a most staff to live, you know what I mean? People like that, so. Yeah. I was on Sunset Boulevard, hanging out like I ain't no superstar. The times with us are supercharged. Not never less than who's in ours. Oh, never kicking with Lucifer. Just hey, Seuss and some pretty bras. Everything you see here is ours. We might just bump in the elder barge. That's that type of life we live.